question on uh, the intersection versus union. We're talking about probability. I'm going to use something called the Venn diagram. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's say I'm rolling a dice, right? All the possibilities of the die is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now let's say I got a subgroup. Let's say I want all the odd numbers. One, two, three, oops, one, and five. Let's say I also want another set. This time we're going to do all the numbers greater than three. So you have four, five, and six. So if I was talking about the union of this one, it would be one, three, four, five, six. If I was talking the intersection, it would be when they have something in common, which would be the five. Now, a conditional proposition, what if I had odds over here instead of having all the things greater than uh, six, let's have evens. Oops. Now you can see that I, I can't have both odds and evens. These are called mutually exclusive, right? And the way to treat them is different. Now the question is, what if you already have a conditional probability? So let's say, uh, I want to know, I'll just use the weather. What are the odds that it's going to rain on a cloudy day? Well, it has to be cloudy first, right? So first thing I need to know, you think of this like a big old pie, right? Let's say it's, it's cloudy three days out of 10, 30% of the time. So 30% of the time, going to rain. That's the condition. It has to be cloudy before it rains. Let's say on the cloudy days, it then has to be 30% uh, uh, of the time it rains on cloudy days. So I take 30% of 30, make that real small, which would be what? About 9% of the big pie. This area right here is 9%. So that's the derivation of the formula uh, for probability. Um, I don't want to get into it too much. There's a lot of math. But if you use the Venn diagrams, it see if that helps. <laughs>